Okay, we're back to our thingamajib. Let's, uh, let's select this side and this side and control E, thickness it out. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know what the heck that is. I'll change the offset here just a little bit. Remember, you can hold the control key to really slow it down. And maybe I went a little too far there on thickness. Let's go there, control E again, change the thickness out a little bit, control E again. Control E again, and uh, change the offset a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Control E again, change the thickness out. Okay, okay. So it's, uh, you know what it's looking like to me now, more and more, like some kind of futuristic spaceship, because any weird object could be a spaceship, right? Uh, yeah, we're going with that. And we can add some cool stuff here. Shift select, Control E, Control E again. Change the thickness, definitely change the offset down quite a bit. Yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely some kind of spaceship. I just can't tell which direction it's flying. And maybe that's the trick, huh? Not bad. Now all I have to do is keep adding stuff until it becomes clear which direction the ship is headed. Now that could be some kind of afterburner unit and these could be some kind of afterburner. So I'll shift select them, control E. Change the thickness a little bit. Change the offset a little bit, like that. Control E, and we'll go negative on the thickness. Control E again. Change the offset. Change the thickness a little bit. And now, these could be the back burners, and this could be the front end of the aircraft. And right here could be our cockpit, so I'm gonna select that. Control E, and then I will. Raise that out a little bit. Control E again, and Control E again, and raise that up, scale it down. All I'm doing is hotkeys to scale and move, and Control E to, to extrude. It, this is a goofy looking spaceship, I'm not gonna lie. But keep in mind, I had no idea what I was building when I started. And if I started over again, I could make this even cooler. Maybe even get rid of this silly shovel handle. And I'll definitely show you how to get rid of things you don't want. Now I promised I would show you the target weld tool. So let's, uh, let's pretend we hate this shovel handle. How do we deal with that? What do we do? We need to delete some components and it's maybe not as straightforward as sometimes it should be. There's a lot of ways to do that. So I could select a component and straight up delete it, leaving a hole. Select another component, delete it, leaving a hole, okay? And that could either be good or bad. That could cause problems. But let me show you target weld. So I'm gonna to go to vertice. I've got a couple targets here. I've got this one. So if I go to mesh tools and I go to target weld here, I can drag that point to that point and weld them together, okay? Sometimes that comes in useful. You can see that I'm creating all kinds of problems with that. Let's go out to one so we can really see what we're doing. Now I could grab this one and target weld it to that one, this one target weld it to that one. Okay, now you know the target weld tool. Very cool. Now we will have a problem rendering this polygon. If you move around it, you can tell it doesn't quite know what it's supposed to do. It's weird. So this, this is gonna be a problem, this polygon right here. It's gonna render a little strangely and we may need to fix that. But that's the target weld tool for you. There's a bunch of other great tools, so many that I can't show you all of them. So as we run into problems, I'll probably show you a new tool. Okay, and this problem right here, lots of ways to fix it. So in the next episode, we'll fix that, keep playing around with our ship, and I'm gonna show you how to delete vertices. I'll see you then.